Hi friends, MD Vegan. Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy breakfast with three parts, or three ingredients. Uh, one is uh, cereals, I'll show you right away, it's very easy, buckwheaties. That's my cereal today. It's a so-called pseudo cereals, there's different kind of grass they are made from, they are growing, that's, that's a category where they are grass. But cereals are special grasses, and these are only cereal cereals. It doesn't really matter, it's a cereal. <laughs> it has no gluten, so that's why many people like it too. It's very inexpensive. Buckwheat, you can get it anywhere. And you can sprout it overnight, soaking in water. Then it begins to sprout, small little sprouts, it is enough. And then you dry it and you dehydrate it or an oven. And then you can store them for month and month in a sealed container. I always have my cereals ready. I put it right in the glass here. Oops, <laughs> that's my breakfast glass, a balloon glass or so. Put it on the bottom. And so that's the first part, first ingredient. Yeah. I show you in another video how to make the buckwheaties. You'll find the link under this one. And the second part is a fruit salad. It's a very special one. Um, it has three, three ingredients again, yeah. And it has bananas and oranges here, equal parts. I just slice them and cut them into small pieces. And walnuts. And that is interesting because I try to make this uh, breakfast, or no, this, this fruit salad with um, these three ingredients, with the bananas and the walnuts and the oranges, a long time ago. Uh, and it came to my mind that this combination was really very special. I had to try bananas and um, walnuts before, and I thought it was a very fantastic combination. The bananas are sweet and a little bit bitter if you don't know it, but it is there. You taste the peel and you understand. And then the walnuts, they are, of course, a little bit bitter and tart, that's well known, and if you are even lucky, they are not as tart as that tart that you are that bitter that you have to soak them. And when you have well, lucky, you find a walnut that is delicious without soaking. If you it's, if it's too bitter, you can soak it overnight and wash it and rinse it and so, and then it is no longer tart and crunchy. It's that and fresh. So that is a wonderful combination. These two bananas and walnuts. There are many many recipes, and I tried to do that in a fruit salad, just bananas and walnuts and a third one. I wanted to find a third ingredient. I didn't know where I should take, but when I used the banana uh, with, the, uh, and the orange, um, with the orange, the bananas and the walnuts, everything fell into place. It was so exciting. And then I thought, wow, this combination of three is so special that um, I found it and took it as a, as a, as a proof as an inspiration to make that method, yeah, to call my method take three. But from that day on, I, 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 choose, I choose this method as my way to go to make a new recipe every day. So, just want to tell you today today. And I put this salad on top of my uh, cereals. That's the third, the, the second ingredient, so to say, this fruit salad. And uh, I've also know that the walnuts are so nice uh, in a breakfast uh, because when I eat walnut in my breakfast, I don't want to eat anything afterwards. I don't have uh, no desire to that for that uh, directly. I mean, because they have this. I guess it is because they have this fat. It's called omega three fatty acid. That is a fat we need every day. And if I have the same breakfast without the walnuts, I mean the granola and the fruit salad and so. And I put, don't put walnuts in there, or something like that. Sometimes I think it feels as if there was something missing. And the walnuts get that job done, and it is, they, are, they are one of our healthiest nuts, and they're recommended every day. They're very healthy for many, many purposes, and especially that, you know, they, they make us really full and satisfied. So that the second ingredient is the fruit salad. And the third one is yogurt. Um, I'm a big fan of cashew yogurt since recently. 
uh, how to make the cashew yogurt, I show you also in another video. I explain everything about it, the cashews blended with the water and the, the bacteria. And if you have that already, you can just, just pour always new cashews blended with water on top of it and make a new yogurt. That is how I made this one. You only need the bacteria once, so to say. And here, what happens here, I want to show you, this have been, has been made overnight, a new yogurt batch has already been. And what you see here, all this gas that builds in the yogurt overnight when it's in the warm, and then I put it in the fridge afterwards, after the night. And um, I could only fill this glass to this height, this max, this, I would say not more than this, and you see what happened here. It's already now up in here because the, 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 the bubbles in here, the, the, the water, it makes the whole volume larger. And if I put too much yogurt um, base into this glass, it comes through this um, lid. Nothing can hold it. It opens everything up and you have the mess everywhere. I want to show you what it looks like. And so I open it now and you see inside it's the right, it's the right amount now. It's not too full. Yeah, so I'm safe here, <laughs> but it's pretty high. It was uh, such a small amount, and now when I open it, it falls together. It's, it's little again, and you can see the air comes out now. Now I can stir a little bit, and you will see in a moment. I show you, oops, how much it was actually, yeah, how much I could fill it with the glass, and um, how much it. Enlarged, you see. I didn't show you. I didn't show you that in the video. See, this is the this is the original amount. It was just like this, not even half of the glass, and it was almost full. So that is a caution. I would make you cautious of putting more into it when you make your own yogurt. You can highly recommend. And I did I mention that I have another video. You have find the link under this video too. How to make the cashew yogurt? Yeah. So I put the yogurt on top as my third ingredient, and that's my breakfast for today. So nice to have fruit salad with yogurt. Um, you know, for to me, the cashew yogurt on a fruit salad is like the cream on a cake. <laughs> yeah, really, that is so nice. Like a beautiful, <coughs> delicious cloud. And um, <coughs> it's my favorite breakfast these days. It would change again, but <laughs> you see, very you see, you see, and it's also nice because this. Um, these buckwheaties, they are very dry and crunchy and you will laugh, but when I ate the yogurt with the buckwheaties together, it's a perfect combination. I thought, hmm, might it be too dry or so? The yogurt is to me pretty fat and thick, so maybe I need more liquid. No, the buckwheaties together with the yogurt by itself. So delicious. That's a very nice combination. Very happy. Thanks for watching. Ah, by the way, and the oranges. Yeah, one more fact. Fun fact. It's a perfect winter food. I didn't know. Some people eat oranges in the winter and you get nice oranges also in the food shops or so for, for uh, winter. And I always thought, okay, that's vitamin C. You know, winter, we have not so much sun and uh, light and so vitamin C helps. But it's not the main reason. <laughs> the main reason, I read recently uh, from somebody who presented a study, uh, that they're in the citrus fruit in general, all the citrus fruit have an ingredient, a, um, a nutrient that makes the blood run faster through the veins. So that warms the body. So citrus fruit are warming. It's a perfect winter food for many reasons. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like, like my video, subscribe, and you leave on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day and enjoy the endless vegan variety. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and X.